हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी नाइन एंड फिफ्टी थ्री विच वॉज आस्क इन द गेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन मैथमेटिक्स वट इज द क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी नाइन इज विच इज विच इज ऑफ द टू मार्क्स एंड इट इज रिलेटेड टू द मैक्सिमा मिनिमा लोकल मैक्सिमा सेडल पॉइंट्स आर देयर वाइल द क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी थ्री इज रिलेटेड टू द नोमेरिकल मैथड्स एंड दैट इज द क्वार्टेचर फॉर्मूला एंड यू हैव टू फाइंड द कॉफिशेंट्स एल्फा बीटा गामा एंड देन कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग रिलेशन That's a very simple. Are there? You can see both the question of the two marks, two plus two. That is a four marks. You can get within a two minutes presentation. Is it? Now, whenever there is a question related to the local maxima, minima, are there? What you can do is you always has to firstly draw the Hessian matrix. I think all of you know that what is the Hessian matrix is. That is, if I call as a H is there. That is the f x x, f x y, f y y. एफ एक्स वाई एक्स एंड एफ वाई वाई आई जस्ट टेल यू अ सिंपल शॉर्टकट फिक्स फॉर ईच ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम एंड देन यू विल ट्राई टू फाइंड दिस प्रिंसिपल माइनर्स भी सो वट इज़ द प्रिंसिपल माइनर दैट इज द फर्स्ट प्रिंसिपल माइनर इज द फर्स्ट एलिमेंट दैट इज एफ एक्स एक्स सेकेंड प्रिंसिपल माइनर इज माई डिटर्मिनेट ऑफ दिस दैट इज एफ एक्स एक्स एफ वाई वाई माइनस एफ वाई एक्स स्केयर और अदरवाइज यू कैन सिंपली टेक एज अ डिटर्मिनेट नाउ यू कैन चेक दैट वेदर इफ डी वन इज लेस दैन जीरो D2 is greater than zero, then the point is maximum. If D1 is greater than zero, D2 is greater than zero, then it's a minimum. While all the other cases we call as the saddle points. That's a simple rule about that. Now, for this, how you can find this one? So now, firstly, you can take the first derivative, which is nothing but my 4 of y minus 4x. You can find this f of y. This is nothing but 4x minus 4y cube. Now, if you take as a saddle point. Or you can find these critical points. What will happen? This is nothing but x is y, and from here x is y cube. So can you solve them? If you solve them, y is nothing but the y cube. That is one minus y square is zero. So the coordinates are there: zero, plus one, and minus one. So what are those points? Is either zero comma zero, either one comma one, or either minus one comma minus one. Now corresponding to these three points, we will define this Hessian matrix. So let's define this matrix. What is the f x x is nothing but my minus four. This is plus four. This is plus four minus of twelve y square. Now that's very simple. We will check firstly for the zero comma zero. So what is our first principal minor is minus four four, which is less than zero. What is the second principal minor is when it's a zero, so this value will be zero. So what is the determinant of this is zero minus sixteen. So both are less than zero. It means ne neither of the case satisfied. So zero comma zero is my saddle point. It means this option will cancel out. Now corresponding to the point one comma one, what is the first principal minor is minus four, which is less than zero. What is the second principal minor is when it's a one, it's a minus of twelve. What is the determinant of that? This is a plus forty eight minus sixteen. So plus forty eight. This is plus forty eight and minus sixteen. That will be my plus of thirty two, which is a greater than zero. So one is a less than zero, other is greater than zero. So this is a case we call as the maximum. So this point is my maximum. Similarly, corresponding to the minus one comma minus one, this is again minus four. What is that? This is again minus of this. This is again positive. So it has the two maximum and one saddle point are there. So which one is the right answer? you can see this is the local maximum and the saddle point are so this is a journal tech this is a journal procedure you can try to learn this one for each of the problem if you if you want to see some more examples related to this saddle point maximum minima i just recommended you you can see this convex and concave function which is available here you can watch this 21 questions with the same trick you can find all these problems in a very simple manner Now let's see question number fifty three, which is again of the two marks are there, and this is the most question, which is mostly question asked in the gate examinations. So this is the quadrature formulas are there of degree less than two. So what is that? So you have to find the basis of this polynomial of degree two. That is a one x and x square. Now take f of x firstly as a one. You can substitute here. What is that? This is one x of dx. Once you integrate, it will be four by two. That is a two. If you substitute f of x, firstly I take f of x as my one. So this is nothing but my alpha plus beta plus gamma. Secondly, I can take f of x is my second basis, that is x. It will be my x square. So x cube by three. So it will be eight by three. f of x, f of zero is zero. f of one is one, and f of two is my two. 
Thirdly, I can take f of x is my x square. So this is my x cube. So if you solve them, it will be my four. This will be beta plus gamma of two. That is a four of gamma. Now you can solve. Now you need the beta and alpha. That is, you have to solve these two equations. So you can subtract them. What is that? This is eight by four. This is minus of two gamma. So after the solving, you will get as a minus of eight by minus of four by three minus of two gamma is my two by three. If you substitute in the first one, it is this beta plus four by three. So value of the beta is my four by three. So therefore, the what is the right answer of this two beta? That is the eight by three minus two by three. The right answer is my two. You will get also the two marks in a very simple way. So always remember that whenever there is a quadrature formula of polynomial two, we will take as a one x and x square. If here instead of this is a less than of the three, then you can take as a polynomial of x, x square, and x cube. Substitute one by one, you will get the solution and the right answer are here. So that is a very simple manner you can solve this uh, MCQ problems in a simple shortcut tricks. You can see as I discuss, you can watch this convex and concave function for finding this. Uh, maxima, minima, and the saddle point problems in a very simple manner. This way, we will see some more questions related to the GATE 2021. Till then, you can simply share this video with your friend. Best of luck, students.